and welcome to the start of the MXGP qualifying. The rain is just starting to come down. I know it's been predicted all day and it's held off, but typical, it's just about to start now. Glenn, just a quick word. I want to speak to Glenn Koldenhoff um, about your season so far, really. I mean, you've had a strong pre-season and I know you struggled a little bit at the first few races, didn't you, due to injury. Do you feel like perhaps you found your form now? Because I know you got your best result in France last round. Yeah, I think so. You know, uh, it, I started a little bit difficult. Uh, I got a few little injuries also still in Spain. Uh, I hurt my hand a little bit, but um, I think I found my form and um, I'm riding quite well on the moment. I'm feeling good on my bike and um, I'm really looking forward to this race. I was just saying how the rain's been predicted all day and finally it's just starting to come. How is that going to affect the conditions of the track and your race? Um, actually, it's already quite dry out there, so um, yeah, the rain is, is okay, I think, but it uh, depends uh, how much is coming. But uh, if I look now, it's quite dark, so it uh, will be a lot of rain, I think. It's going to be a lot coming. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> Good luck with that one. Thanks, Glenn. I want to speak to Alessandro Lupina, who's just a home rider, just over here. He's got a few people around him. Alessandro, just a quick word before you start. Home GP for you. Um, is it, does it make a difference having the fans out there, having your family here and being here in Italy? Yeah, for sure. Here in Maggiore it's a little bit more easy, even because two years ago I did the podium and MX2 and uh, that was amazing. So that's uh, bring me a good uh, remember on uh, my life. And uh, But uh, uh, every GP I get uh, better and better, so I'm, uh, I'm happy and uh, that, uh, that's uh, what I want. Is, and uh, I want to improve every race, not much, but uh, small improve that uh, can help, him, help me. And, uh, I hope to make a really good result in a few races. I know you said every GP you're getting better and better. Do you feel like you're coming back to full fitness now because you have struggled at the beginning of the season with injury? Yeah, with the injury it stopped me a lot and uh, now I think I'm 75% uh, of my physical condition. Uh, I can push on the fast lap on, but uh, not yet on the full races and uh, yeah, for me it's still difficult uh, to be to be with the front uh, with the guys on the front uh, but uh, for sure if uh, I can make a good uh, start that uh, helped me a lot I wish you all the best thank you Alessandra will the rain start or not we'll see time for the MXGP qualifying A great crowd here at Maggiore on Saturday for qualifying as the top two riders there Bobashev and Paulan looking pretty pensive nice relaxed Sean Simpson discussing things with his father and his mechanic but while it was humid there were a few spots of rain starting to fall prior to the start of the qualifying race riders then lining up Bobrashev, Paul and Plevra, Charlier, Strybos and Kai Rowley and even though we did have the rain it wasn't enough to dampen the spirits of this massive crowd here in Italy we did have big rain on Thursday, which left the track waterlogged, but it was an absolute perfect circuit for the qualifying race. But going into the first corner, Strybos got bumped by Bobrashev and Paulan, both Honda riders colliding through the first turn. So the riders that qualified first and second in time practice were down on the first turn as Cairoli made his move coming out of turn two, much to the delight of the Italian crowd. Nagel right there behind him and Frossard in third. David Philipparts at the top of the hill, riding the 60th anniversary Yamaha this weekend, charged downhill, but then as he got to the bottom, hit by Strybos and left the Italian on the ground, as well as Matevs Irt and one or two others as well, Yamamoto being one of those on the Honda as Paulan went through. Cairoli then struggling with the rain on the goggles, having a few wipes with the left hand, trying to maintain those tear-offs as he disappeared over the first hill but then it got worse for the eight-time champ came out of this right hand up got it all wrong over the step up and that was the result Cairoli was out as the riders came through you see him just trying to get out of the way nursing his left arm and that's what it looks like from the GoPro that was still on the track up front though Max Nagel, Red Bull Ice One, Husqvarna Factory Racing. Took command, but he was being pushed by the 183. Wilvo Fort Rank KTM of Stephen Frossard and the Yamaha of Jeremy Van Horbeek. 
Behind them, Sean Simpson, Alessandro Lupino and Christophe Charlier. Also getting good starts. Max Nagel, though, who was pretty relaxed in the first free practice session, improved slightly in time training, obviously getting one of his rocket starts here, and putting it to good use. Boutron was also in the mix as well, number 17 on the Marchetti Racing KTM. Slight loss of the front end there for Nagel. Almost saw the Husqvarna rider lose that lead as he was being pushed all the way by Frossard as Roman Fevre, who fell early in the race, started to remount the challenge. By now, Cairoli had walked himself back to the medical center. And you can see the grimace on the face of the Italian. Still no news, though. The rain still tipping down just a little bit, enough to add a little bit of traction in one or two areas, but also keep the, ra the race line pretty slick. Yellow flags out as uh, Frossard crashed out of second position. Van Horbeek went through. And so too did Sean Simpson on the Hitachi Revo KTM, put him up into third as Van Horbeek here, number 89, was now up into second. Sean Simpson riding the number 24. Didn't have a great time in free practice and in time training, but obviously making the most of that good start here as Alessandro Lupino, the lead Italian in the race, in fourth position, came under pressure and was eventually passed by Evgeny Bobrashev. Koldenhoff wasn't too far behind either. As Gauthier Paulin continued to chase the Rockstar Energy Suzuki rider in the closing stages. Nagel was able to afford himself a little time to relax as Van Horbeek was around about 10 seconds behind the German and also the MXGP championship leader. Circuit pretty technical with the square edge acceleration bumps and the hard slick nature of the racetrack here in Majora Park. Van Horbeek with one of his best performances of the year, second in the qualifying, Sean Simpson looking relaxed, but Bobrashev trying to close down on Simpson as Lupino made a mistake. He fell from fifth position, eventually came home in ninth. So disappointment for the Italian, but it was a win for Nagel. Van Horbeek came home in second, and he was delighted with his performance on the Yamaha. Behind him was Sean Simpson. Genny Bobrashev came home in fourth, Koldenhoff fifth, Paul Ant was sixth in MXGP qualifying. Max, congratulations, first pole position of the year. Um, you were pretty much riding around solo the whole time. Were you aware of what was going on behind you? No, just in the beginning, Tony was in front of me and then he had quite a big crash and luckily I was not too close to him, otherwise we would crash together. And then uh, I just tried to keep my own rhythm. I did uh, the same like in the pre-qualifying and the same speed. So it was going really well. The track is really easy today. It's really flat, no ruts, no bumps, but probably the weather forecast will promise some rain. So maybe, maybe going to be a complete different story tomorrow. But of course, having the first gate pick tomorrow, especially if it's raining, that's really, it's a big advantage already. And uh, I hope I can make similar tomorrow. It would be great to be once back on the podium now. Best of luck, thank you. Thank you, bye bye. Jeremy Van Horwe, congratulations. Second in qualifying today, best overall result so far this year, and coming back from, from injury. What happened with Stephen Frossard? Were you aware of that? Um, yeah, you know, uh, Stephen had a big crash in front of me, but um, he was quite on the limit the first lap, so, you know, I, I, I prefer to stay third and, and ride smooth, you know. It's good to be back here, you know. Last year I was here every weekend, and I know it's only Saturday, but. Um, it's good for my gate pick tomorrow and uh, step by step it's coming back, you know, I had a fifth uh, in France uh, in the first moto, now today second, um, I feel good, you know, I, I want to try to step it up a little bit for tomorrow, but I'm happy, you know, I'm happy to be back here. Good, best of luck for tomorrow. Sean Simpson, congratulations, third for qualifying today, best results so far in quali, uh, what was it like out there? Um, yeah, obviously I'm happy to be up here, I mean, uh, Track's not that difficult to be honest. I struggled a lot in pre-qualifying practice, only managed 18th. I uh, tweaked a couple of things on the bike. I thought it was going to be hard to get a good start, but 
We got out the gate well, fifth or sixth, and then just plugged away and managed to get up to third, sort of held that pace nicely till the end. Bob Rushev was pushing hard, but he set fastest lap time earlier today, so just looking for it to be a bit more technical tomorrow and a uh, couple of good starts, obviously good great uh, gate position tomorrow, so definitely looking forward to it, but uh, hopefully a little bit of rain would suit me well. Best of love then, thank you.